So well, we're going to pop over now to Singapore, to the Art Science Museum over there. It's running the Mesh Minds 1.0 exhibition at the moment. Lots of virtual reality, augmented reality and real reality, I hope. So as the event prepared for launch, I caught up with one of the organisers, Kay Vasey, who's Chief Connecting Officer at Mesh Minds. And the first tech she told me about is Tilt Brush. Google Tilt Brush allows you basically to free draw with an amazing palette of animated brushes. You can use virtual oil paint, um, you can also paint with brushes that shoot out stars, rainbows, even fire. And when you, when you bring that together with Google Blocks, that allows you to easily create geometric shapes just by pulling the trigger. Um, you can create these whole immersive virtual worlds and within those worlds you can then start to tell stories. So, for example, um, one of our artists creates beautiful landscapes, um, you know, with thick forests, trees, tall, short bushes, flowers. And then in amongst all of that, he hides an animal. And you can not only use the quick draw function to see how he has created that from the very first brush stroke, but you can then also start to see potentially how a virtual landscape like that could be used for, for example, raising awareness of the plight of an endangered animal. And when I go to a technology event, I always want to see some hardware, you know, circuit boards, microcontrollers, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> sure enough, there's a lot of that going down with you over there. One of your artists, Cool Lee Min, I think, is working with Internet of Things technologies. So how exactly? She is um, one of six of the electronic music students from La Salle College of the Arts. Um, and they've been building musical instruments using microcontrollers, um, either the Arduino or the Genuino, um, which is a component which is often found in, in DIY, uh, IoT projects, um, using motion sensors and, and that kind of thing. They have incorporated those into these wonderful musical instruments that they've made. When these musical instruments are positioned together, they form this orchestral soundscape. So the artists are going to be performing live at the opening party, and when they're not there, the instruments will play a soundscape on auto mode. We wanted to have that element of live performance, and just to show people, look, through using your body, using your hand here, this motion sensor, you are making sound. It's only one step further that you then are able to connect to the internet. Also, speaking of sound, there's also 3D sound sculpture, exploring how you can conjure up, almost like Tilt Brush does 3D figures in a visual way, that there's a kind of sonic counterpart to that as well. There is, and I really, really love Dipali Gupta's work. So what she did was she journeyed around Singapore recording ambient sounds and she's done very simple things like the ring of a bus bell or, or nature in the botanic gardens. She then took those sound files into Fusion 360, 3D modelling software, and she's printed them out as tangible visualisations of the Singapore soundscape. And I think that's the key, is to try to get the visitors to understand that you can make these wonderful connections between the real world, through the virtual world, and back into the real world. I love you, Singapore. And speaking of 3D printing, you're also exploring coral bleaching. You know, so this is an awful phenomenon where coral are dying on the reefs, and 3D printing is helping us understand that and discuss coral bleaching, isn't it? So Arvin Febrian and Atika Ramli, um, they've collaborated to produce something called Whitewashed. And that's a work using 3D printing, um, where they've printed pieces of coral, uh, but they've then used projection mapping and LED lighting and a motion sensor, so that when you view the work from far, wow, it's beautifully lit up with lots of colors as you might see it uh, from far in the sea. Uh, you know, the, as, as we've been watching, you know, David Attenborough's wonderful Blue Planet 2 um, and, and recently the wonderful, gorgeous colors that uh, the coral actually, the living coral has. Now they've taken that idea and so that when the visitor approaches those, that glowing coral, it suddenly bleaches white um, to demonstrate the effect that humans can have on that delicate coral ecosystem. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Kay Vasey. So what about that, Galen? You know, the 3D printing sounds, waving your arms around to produce 3D sculptures. Yeah, so lovely. Fun. Really great. Absolutely up my street. Listen, I'd love to be able to go to that exhibition. So anyone listening in Singapore, definitely get along to the art museum. Those convergences of different tools, you know, the motion tools, like you said, the, the, the mapping tools, the sensors, the virtual, you know, being able to virtually draw, etc. And those artists working with them. It sounds great. Yeah. Really positive exactly. set of work. Um, I thought it was a really nice use of technology reminding us that we are in the world. So much technology takes us out of the world. But, you know, your real world sounds, bus bells, you take yes, the sound wave lovely. and then interpret yeah. it in a 3D shape, that kind of thing. Really super. And I think it will be hugely relative to people who are in Singapore, yeah, because they've made it there. They've been working together for four months and bringing all this stuff together. But also, I think it'd be a great project for touring too, actually. So yeah. I hope maybe we will see it in different parts of the world. Yeah, maybe we can try and blag a trip there as well. That would be even nicer, who knows? We'll save up. Galen Boddington, thank you so much. That's Mesh Minds 1.0 currently on in Singapore at the Art Science Museum. I'm Gareth Mitchell. The producer is Colin Grant, and we'll see you next week. Take care, folks, and goodbye.